Hello, my name is Karen McCarran. You probably recognize me from PTA meetings where I work diligently to ban dangerous pornographic books from the library, such as To Kill a Mockingbird, <gasps> Two Boys Kissing, <gasps> and Captain Underpants. Yeah! Today I bring to you a public service announcement about another very grave threat to our children and to our traditional values. I am talking about clowns. What happens when a child sees a clown? They run away to join the circus. We have all heard the stories of children running off to join the circus once children see the makeup, the wigs, the silly costumes. Their little minds get confused and they think they are clowns too, and the next thing you know, bam, they're off to the circus. Even if they don't run off to the circus right away, that image of a clown will latch itself onto their spongy little brain cells, and once they turn 18, bam, they're off to the circus and we've lost another one to the radical carnival big top. Look, I have nothing against clowns. They can throw pies in each other's faces spray seltzer down their pants, play in their little clown cars, but they have to do it in the privacy of their big top tents, not out in the public, not where children can see. Do you want your child to run away and join the circus? Of course you don't. No red-blooded American wants their child to be a clown, but clowns groom children, often showing up at birthday parties. And of course, the most notorious clown of all is protected by big business. Yes, I'm talking about Ronald McDonald, the biggest groomer of them all. And yes, this is a Ronald McDonald who is very close friends with a known felon, the Hamburglar. Is that who you want your children to be around? This madness must stop. Call your congressman, call your school board, call your homeowners association and demand that clowns be banned from all public venues. Do it for the children because children are idiots. <laughs>